Okay, uh, so before we deal with uh, rectangular matrices, uh, let us just talk a bit about some one other, other uh, special matrix. We, we introduced them a little earlier just as definition of uh, what are called as, as uh, symmetric uh, matrices. So, these are matrix which are equal to their transpose that A is, is equal to A transpose and this comes with some with some um, nice nice properties. Uh, something which are uh, easy to check is every square diagonal matrix is, is symmetric. If I add two uh, symmetric matrices, I will again get a symmetric matrix. Uh, if A is symmetric, A square, A cube and all higher powers of A are also symmetric. Uh, and similarly, uh, if A inverse exists, it is symmetric if and only if A is symmetric. Okay, so, if we take an invertible A, A inverse, if, if A is symmetric, A inverse if at all it exists will be uh, symmetric. Uh, a useful property which okay, I not prove, but this is an uh, uh, interesting, uh, uh, interesting thing to, to note that all eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are real and this is one of the properties which we will also exploit later in the, in, in the course. But I will leave this for you to, to do this proof as a little exercise. If you cannot do it, just, just let me know, but this, this is a, an interesting proof. Uh, so, eigenvalues of all symmetric uh, matrices are real and the eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other, right. So, so, if, so, so we know the definitions, right. So, the, you take the dot product and they will uh, get you a, C, a 0. And lastly, uh, every symmetric matrix is diagonalizable and of course, its eigenvectors, this is a, a, a trivial thing, right? And its uh, eigenvectors are, are linearly independent. This is nothing really special to say uh, about, about here. Okay, uh, we now uh, introduce the concepts of uh, eigen decomposition and uh, singular value decomposition. Singular value decomposition is essentially when you have uh, a, a rectangular uh, matrix. So, uh, the eigen decomposition is, is one which, uh, which decomposes a square matrix A into its set of eigenvalues uh, and vectors. So, what does it mean uh, that if I, 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 if I can write a matrix A as E D E inverse, uh, E is a matrix with eigenvectors of A as its column, D is a diagonal matrix with eigenvalues of A as its uh, diagonal elements. It's, uh, it looks very similar to what to what we uh, studied in diagonalization. It's just a little uh, alternate uh, representation, uh, and this eigen decomposition, uh, of course, is possible if and only if the eigenvectors of A are uh, linearly independent. So, wh 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 how does this help us? Well, as as usual, we were talking of uh, uh, computing higher powers of A. So, A power n would simply be E d power n e inverse. So, an interesting question is what happens when A is a rectangular matrix? So, the answer to that will be uh, by introducing the concept of singular, singular value decomposition. Okay, uh, before uh, we do a singular value decomposition, let us first define what are singular values uh, of a matrix and I will usually associ associate this with uh, uh, a rectangular matrix uh, A belonging to R M cross N, right. So, if I if I have A, uh, a rectangular matrix, its uh, maximum rank can be the minimum of uh, M, M, M and N. So, let us say I just call this the rank of A, let me call this as some number R which can at best be the minimum of M or N, okay. Uh, what is easy to check is that A A transpose is is a square and a symmetric matrix. Similarly, uh, A transpose A will be in R n cross n, and this will also uh, be a symmetric matrix. Right? This is this is easy to check. Okay, so let's let's start with, with this and say uh, that I have uh, lambda one to lambda r. Let them denote the non-zero eigenvalues of A transpose, and from the property of symmetry matrix, I know that this this all will be real eigenvalues. Okay, so I I start with a matrix A, right, which is a rectangular matrix. Then I 
compute this matrix A A transpose which is symmetric and of course square which goes without saying all its eigenvalues are real. Okay. Now, the singular values by definition are the square roots of eigenvalues of A A A of A A transpose. So, lambda i here are the eigenvalues of A A transpose okay. and the remaining singular values uh, will, uh, uh, will be will be 0. Uh, let us see if we can work out a, a pretty simple example. Uh, so, I take a matrix A which is uh, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 and the rank of A uh, and I can trivially check it to be 1. Okay. Uh, now, what is A? A transpose is simply this multiplication 3, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, I have a 3, 4, 0 and all other zeros. So, this will be uh, 9 plus 16 is 25, 0, 0, 0. So, the singular values here would just be the, the square root of this uh, uh, of eigenvalues of A transpose would just be the, the diagonal elements is 25 and, and 0, right. And then you can just compute the uh, singular values by this, uh, these numbers, okay. So, there will be one non 0 and the other will be uh, 0. Singular values are positive. The square root of 25 will be plus and minus 5, right? Yeah, they taken from the positive. Yeah, positive. Okay, so so given a, a matrix, uh, how would I go about finding its its uh, singular value decomposition, or what does it even mean by singular value decomposition? Uh, in in the in the diagonalization, uh, I had a transformation E. Uh, D or E inverse D E where the, the, the matrix D was just a collection of the eigenvalues on the diagonal and everything else was uh, 0. Okay. So, what does, uh, what does this, this mean uh, in, in terms of a, of a rectangular matrix? So, let us do a little, little uh, uh, derivation here. Okay, so, I start with A from R m cross n, this is a, it's a m by n, n matrix. Again, the rank of A is equal to R, which is less than or equal to the minimum of these numbers m, comma n. Okay. Now, the definition here says that A can be written as u and some s and v transpose, okay, where this u and v are such that u u transpose is the identity and v v transpose is the identity. Uh, so, this u u transpose would be the uh, m dimensional identity and this would be the n dimensional identity, so the e equality here. So, these are also called as uh, uh, unitary matrices. Okay. Now, suppose that I can write or S as S R 0, 0 and 0, okay. it's like, like a block diagonal. So, this will correspond to the are uh, non 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 zero i singular values and then the remaining would be uh, would be zero okay so this thing i can write down now as uh, so i have u1 u2 i have uh, sr 0 0 0 so now this this has dimension m this is r and this is m minus r and similarly here okay, sorry, 
I will have V 1 and say some V 2 with its uh, transpose. This will be of n, this will be r and this will be n minus r. So, this I can rewrite this as u 1 as r v 1 transpose. Okay, and there is a reason why I am doing this right, why am I assuming that there are r non zero singular values and, and, and the remaining r r 0. Okay, so, I know I know these two things. Uh, so, an immediate thing to also check is u uh, 1 u 1 transpose would be the r dimension identity and similarly v 1 with v 1 transpose would be also the r uh, dimensional identity. Okay, now, coming back to this matrix A, let me take this A, A transpose, right. This is what I have, I have defined you know uh, the, the singular values that these are uh, the singular values are the square roots of eigen eigen values of A A transpose. A A transpose is, is a square matrix. So, this will be uh, U 1 call this as R V 1 transpose okay, multiplied by the same right U 1 as R V 1 transpose and the entire transpose of this. So, this will be okay. I just do all the math. This will be u1 sr square and uh, v1 v1 transpose. So, this will be uh, a u1 transpose. Okay. Now, uh, if I multiply this by u1, say I have a a transpose u 1 is uh, u 1 s r square. Okay. So, now, now this is now let me call this some matrix A, this is a set of set of vectors right A u 1 is some u 1 again the same s r square. Okay. Now, if I uh, write down each element, it will look as A, so let us call this small ui, e ui is ui sri square. Okay. So, uh, I will also, so, so whatever is, is the is the ith diagonal entry, so, so i going from 1 to r. Now, this has a, a very nice, nice interpretation here, right. So, I have a matrix A multiplied by a vector will give me again that vector multiplied by the square of uh, square of the i th diagonal entry right which are essentially the singular values so let me call this this the singular values to be sigma 1 till uh, sigma r so i have a ui is ui sigma i square okay now this uh, use or or this uh, eigenvectors are called the left singular values of A. Okay. Similarly, I can do it do with the with the other uh, thing also, right? So I just take the other. Uh, so I take A, A transpose. Uh, so what is what is A A transpose? This would be uh, sorry, not A, A transpose, I will take the other one. A transpose times A is uh, uh, so sorry, we get a U1 SR1, okay, this. So, U1 SR. Uh, v1 transpose the whole transpose of this times u1 sr v1 with the transpose and i do all this uh, stuff and i get that uh, a transpose a with a maybe a small vi would be uh, 
again this this number sigma i square v i and these v's which are now elements of v1 till v r are the right singular values of the matrix A. Right. So, so this is a little, uh, little proof of how you know th these things work and what is the relation why why uh, why the what is the relation between the eigen values of A A transpose and and the single singular value. So, why do we call them as uh, uh, as as the singular value. So, this is a little little uh, illustration of that. Okay. So, let us go back here and then read out what this uh, what the entire uh, steps that we did so far mean. So, I take a matrix A, I can write it as a product of three matrices U, S and V transpose where S will consider will consist of all the all the sing singular values along the diagonal, uh, which is a generalization of, uh, of eigen decomposition. The diagonal elements of S are the singular values of A, the columns of U were called the left eigenvectors, the column for V are were called the called the uh, right uh, singular eigenvectors uh, of A. Yeah, so, this again you can just go through this and, and relate each statement to the steps which we uh, followed over there. Okay. So, uh, when do these, uh, sing when, when is the singular value decomposition and the eigen decomposition, uh, when are they same? Uh, well, it is again easy to check, right? If, uh, they coincide, coincide if and only if uh, A is symmetric and, uh, and positive definite. Uh, you can just you know start from here and say when A is symmetric and positive definite, then a positive definite would mean that all eigenvalues are are, uh, are greater than zero. That was uh, uh, the property of the symmetric matrix, a uh, sign definite symmetric matrix. So A transpose A would be A square, and then you you can just re rewrite all these steps to validate uh, the statement. Okay, so 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 the reason I, I I also did this that I just assume that R uh, there are only R singular values which are less than the minimum of this number and the remaining go to zero is we can get now a nice interpretation of uh, what we call as the row space and uh, so the the uh, the column space and and the null space of A and relate them directly to the to the singular values or the singular value decomposition, right? So the basis for C A would just turn out to be the first R columns of U. Okay, I will not do the do write down the details, but I think you can do this. Similarly, the basis for uh, the null space of A will be the last n minus R columns of V and and so on. Right. So so this this you can you can just uh, verify as as a very very small small exercise. Right. Okay. So so this kind of concludes uh, the. Uh, uh, the linear algebra tools that I would want to introduce uh, in as, as, a, as some basic uh, building blocks or basic tools for the course. And next time we, we will start directly with, uh, with state space models. How do we compute uh, solutions of a, of a state space representation of a, of a system that could be. Uh, so, we will again deal with linear systems which could be time invariant and also time varying. So, that will uh, come up soon. Thanks for listening.